Hello, this is Teacher Charles again, and we're studying together about American English. And this is lesson number 2B, part B, part 2 of lesson number 2. Lesson number 2 on page 3 in the book is about double letters and digraphs. And so in the last lesson, we studied about double letters. And double letters are two letters that make the same sound. But now we're going to study about digraphs in, less chap in page four of the book, lesson two. We're studying about digraphs. Will you say that with me? Singular, we say digraph. Plural, we say digraphs. Can you say digraphs? Thank you. There are 26 letters in the English language, but there are 44 sounds. Why are there 44 sounds and only 26 letters? Because English uses letters working together to make new sounds. For example, bat. B -a -t, bat B A T is one word but when we add the letter H it becomes a new word a new word is added is created by adding H bath B -a -t, bath so by adding one new letter we create a new word and T H is a digraph. A digraph is two letters working together to make a new sound. Double letters are two letters working together to make the same sound. But a digraph are two letters working together to make a new sound. In this lesson we're going to learn four digraphs. I'm going to say them, and then you say them after me. Th, ch, sh, f. Again, th, ch, sh, f. This time we're going to use them in example words. Th, thanks, and thank you. TH is a digraph. TH together is a digraph. Th, thanks, thank you. CH, CH together is a digraph. CH, cheat, chair. SH together is the digraph. SH. Shirt, she, shoe, sh, the letters together are a digraph that make the sound sh. ph together make the sound of the f, f. ph and f, f, have the same sound. ph in phone, like telephone. PH in elephant. Same as the F sound. So now on page four in the activity, let's look at the words and separate the words into each sound. Remember, I'm teaching you the sounds. I'm not only teaching you new words. I will teach you new words, but I'm teaching you the sounds of the letters so that you will be able to read, write, and speak English clearly. So I will say the word and the sounds, and you say them after me. Bath. B -a -th. Bath. Bath. Hot. H -a -t. Hot. Hot. Cheat, ch, 
eat, cheat, black, b, u, a, k, black, black, wash, w, a, sh, wash, phone, f, o, n, phone, shirt, sh, er, t, shirt, thanks, th, a, n, x, thanks, e, a, in cheat, c, h, e, a, t, are vowels that work together to make the long e sound. So in cheat, a is silent. Cheat. E, A work together to make the long E sound. In black, C, K are double letters that only make one sound. E at the end of phone is silent. And so we do not pronounce the sound of the E. It's silent. And it gives the long sound of the O before it in phone. IR, look at the word shirt. IR makes the ER sound. The letter R makes the ER sound. And so here, IR together make the ER sound. The I is silent. Remember, I told you there are many silent letters in the English language. And so here, in cheat, C-H-E-A-T, the A is silent. And we have the long E sound. In black, the C is silent, and we have the K of the K sound. In phone, the E on the end is silent. In shirt, I-R makes the er sound and the I is silent. And so there's many words like that where it has a silent letter and we do not say the sound of that letter. And so digraphs are two letters but one new sound. We learned four of them. Th Ch, sh, f. So let's review. The English language has 21 consonants with 18 different sounds. C makes the K and the S sound. K and S. Q makes the K and the W sound. Qu. X makes the K and the S sound, k -s, k -s, as in excuse me, excited, extra, box. We studied four digraphs in this lesson. They are th, thanks, ch, cheat, sh, shirt, th, phone. That's the end of lesson two and I want to remind you if you like this video and if this lesson helped you please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share it with a friend so that they can benefit too. Let's take a rest and then we will move on to lesson number three.